we all rush out, go to the store, do our shopping, go to small chain stores such as Dollar Tree and Family Dollar. Some people shop actually at Dollar General, a store that I'm not very familiar with, but I do shop there once or twice a year, not very much. And we buy bottled water because we feel it's more safer than tap water. And then you read the label, bottled water have no fluoride in it. Like most tap water have fluoride in it. What's in your water? What's in your water that you drink? Whatever else is in your water, the essential ingredients is H2O, a compound that make up as much as 75% of your body weight. Depending on your age, it breaks down nutrition in two forms your bodies can use and carry them where they need it. It also helps keep the right balance of water and salt in your body and even act as a kind of shock absorber that protects your tissues and bones. You may not think much about it. When you take a shower or turn on tap water, but more than 2 billion people worldwide drink water that has pesticides, sewage, lead, mercury, hazardous waste, and other dangers in it. The Environmental Protection Agency, the EPA, set the standards for what is in tap water in the USA, the United States. If you get your tap water from wells instead of local water treatment facilities, you should test for her hazardous material such as pesticides, chemicals, heavy metal before you use it for the first time. Then test for fertilization chemicals and certain kinds of bacteria every year. Test more frequency if you have children or pregnant. Some health issues like headaches, diarrhea, fatigue can be signs of problems. If you need guidance, contact your local EPA agency website for more information. To start this video, you saw me have a drink of water, tap water from my kitchen sink. That's something I do daily, several times. I drink as much water as I can. I have a sudden weight loss for a healthy living, a healthy life. I have this certain weight loss because I left whiskey and beer alone. I have this certain weight loss because I always fill myself and wash my insides, clearance my inside with water. But what do you know about your local tap water? Is it safe? Our tap water here in Toledo House since I've been down here for four and a half years. I've lived in Toledo. We had bull water alerts three or four times. I was still living in Michigan. I was hearing about Toledo bad water facilities before the Flint water crisis all got started in the state of Michigan. And the Flint water crisis was so big that poor Rick Snyder was the governor of the town of Michigan, made world news. They were talking about bad water in Flint, Michigan, outside the United States. It went international. What's in our tap water? It's our water we purchase at stores. Any, any safer than what we draw from our tap water? Do we know what we're drinking? About three-fourths of the public water in the United States have fluoride added to it. The minerals protect your teeth and decay. Typical levels are less than one part per million, and that's considered safe by the CDC, which calls is one of the greatest public health achievements of the 20th centuries. The CDC website has information about the level in specified areas. Good old salt. It's even in water you drink. A little is fine, but you get plenty in it from foods. If you have issues related to salt, high blood pressures, congested heart failure, for example, check your water sodium levels, both tap and bottle. How many people really read the labels of bottled water? I read the label of food, I read the labels of vitamins, I read the levels of sodas I drink. But I have not yet read the labels of bottled water because the first thing cutting your mouth when you buy a bottle of water, 
is mostly from tap water with a little bit of additive in it to make it taste a little bit different. How many people out there ever read the labels of bottled water? Not many. I buy flavored water, blueberry water, strawberry for the water. I just assume it's mostly water from the tap that's mixed with ingredients to give me that blueberry or that strawberry taste of water. How many people actually read bottled water? You may have heard bad things about it this before. Natural chemicals and some source of water like wells can have low levels of it. Your local water provider should contact the amount in yours. But if you get your water from a well or some other natural sources, it's a good idea to test it. In high levels, it's been linked to heart disease, diabetes, cancer, lower brain performance in children. And this is the part of this story that I was reading on lab before I started this video. That really touched me. Your local water provider may not catch this one because it often comes from old pipes in your house in your neighborhood. The lead get into your water right before it comes out of the tap. Home filtering system can take it out of your tap water. But it's important to test your water level and change the filters regularly. Lead is linked to serious health problems in children and adults. And that's what did what really touched me when I was going over that story online from WebMD. Just say you live in a low-income neighborhood with older homes, older sculptures. There's a real good chance, 90 to 95%, the chance that some of your pipes are outdated. And uh, people drink the water and go to their parents and say, they have a kind of bittery taste to it. How many people do boil the water and have a bittery taste to it? Right now, if I drink a cup of water, as yeah, you saw me do when this video started, it had a bittery taste to it. I just want to drink it. I'll go to a store and purchase water and just assume it was going to pass through my water system that gave me that very bittery taste. The last thing that would come to my mind is old pipes. But just say you live in a neighborhood that's not too glamorous. There's a very good chance your pipes are old. And that bittery taste of water that you're tasting is not the water itself. It's the lid inside your pipes that is mixing with the water as it leaves the water faucet and going to your glass or cup. And that can lead to danger, brain function. You ever hear the saying, it must be in the water we drink? Be careful what you say. Chloride is used to kill germs in public water systems. Other chemicals are sometimes used as well, but chlorine is the most common. It's considered safe and low levels, but you may notice a slight smell or taste. Bottled water is regulated by the FDA using standard sets by the EPA, so it's usually safe, but not anymore. So that tap water, and keeping that in mind, aside from the extra cost, bottled water is often missing the fluoride that protects your teeth. That's why I sound very more funnier now than I did before. Because of my teeth. You look at me and say you have very beautiful teeth. Well, in order to keep my very beautiful teeth, I had my dentist specialist in aspirin dinners in Holland, Ohio. Put a nice little tray in my mouth to protect my teeth, to keep my teeth very beautiful. Because I had four S tracks about a week ago and I had four wisdom tooths removed and those four wisdom tooth left me with a tray in my mouth for six months so I might sound a bit more funnier now than I did before because as I talked to you I was something sitting on top of my teeth in the back of my mouth when to boil your water if you are not sure about the safety of your water because of flooding a broken pipe or something else. You can boil it. This should get rid of a, any bacteria, viruses, or other organs that can make you sick. One minute is enough to get the job done. Three minutes if you are 6,500 feet 
or above from sea level. We don't live by seas here in Ohio. We live by the Maumee River. We live by the Great Lakes. No sea levels here. The Maumee River is about a 15 minute drive from me right now. What do we do if we have contaminated water? Boil it, three minutes, 6,500 feet from sea level or Maumee River, three minutes. If not, one minute is enough. But is it safe? Is it safe? Do we know what we put in our body? We know all the food that we eat and have something in it already added. That's not healthy for us. But the FDA always tells us what we eat and it's not a, enough at a certain level to make us sick. We still eat it. Are we drinking water that can make us sick? But the CDC, the EPA, is saying it's not enough lead or whatever to make us sick. Some people say we need germs. Doctors will tell you we need germs. Germs keep you healthy. Germs fight germs. What do we know about water? What do we know about what we put in our body? How old are the pipes in your house? How do your tap water taste? Do you think water have nasty tastes too? So you have to put a lemon or a lime inside of it? Or some people put oranges in it. And then again, some people, they don't drink water at all. Me, I love it. I love how fresh it feels just going down my body, making my body feel clean, making me lose more weight, making me slim, making me look like I've another 10 or 20 years of life. But is it safe? Do you read the bottle? water labels before you put it in your shopping cart or do you just put three or four in your shopping cart and go to the next item my name is Sammy I am a supporter of the Lyme disease cancer and heart foundations please support your local Lyme disease charitable and please support your local heart disease and cancer foundations you can follow me on social media sites and please help support my YouTube channel. In my descriptions of my YouTube channel, you will see my PayPal link. Please donate and help support my YouTube channel to keep sending audio podcasts and sending video clips going. Share my videos, like them, comment, and subscribe. Send my video to your friend. My name is Sammy. Bottled water. Tout water. Is it safe?